Hey everyone, it's Friday. I'm out here with the van doing a little work or attempting to do some work before it gets too dark out here. But I pulled everything out of the van that I had in there so far. I got a bunch of the smaller stuff in the back. I'll talk about some of the other stuff that might look a little new to you in another video. But for right now, I pulled everything out because I'm going to go ahead and rip the carpet out. I'm going to start tonight. Hopefully I can get it done. I'm going to work even when it's dark out. But I just want to make this before it gets too dark. But uh, yeah, let me show you. I'm going to leave this stuff out here, put a tarp over it until I'm done with the floor. But uh, yeah, got the seat bases out finally. And this is why I had to go ahead and say, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and rip the carpet out instead of just, you know, putting an area rug over top or something. Because there was no carpet under the seat bases. So I can't just leave it like that. I mean, I could if I wanted to, but no thank you. <laughs> So yeah, <clears throat> I'm, like I said, going to go ahead and rip the carpet out tonight and hopefully have it all done by tomorrow and I can uh, go ahead and do some measurements to cut some fly plywood. I ordered uh, Ultra Touch, I believe it is, a radiant barrier. Didn't really want to pay the money for it, but, you know, I do want to do this somewhat correctly, <laughs> even if I got to spend some money. But uh, yeah, so I ordered that. That won't be here for another week. I don't know why it's not sold in stores, not sold anywhere else other than Home Depot, which I don't like Home Depot, but I went ahead and got it anyway. So I'm waiting on that. While I do that, I'm going to go ahead and measure the plywood and cut it so it'll be ready when it gets here. And I'm also going to do vinyl flooring. And I went to Ollie's. I don't know if you have Ollie's near you, but it's like a discount store. And they have a bunch of flooring there. I didn't even think about it until my uncle said something the other day. And uh, I went over there. And I signed up for that little rewards thing, so I get 15% off as well. And they have all kind of rugs and carpet and flooring and, you know, all kind of stuff in there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get that. I don't know if I want the roll of vinyl flooring that looks like wood or if I want to get the actual, like, plank vinyl flooring that you just um, lay down in the separate pieces. I mean, that's extra work. It's, it'll take longer. I could just roll it out, cut it, and then I'll be done. I think, I don't think I'm even going to you know, stick it to the ground because I heard with the weather it can uh, expand and uh, shrink as well like other things. So that would leave like wrinkles and bumps in it too if you um, glue it to the floor. If you don't, then you can always adjust it if you want. So I'm going to look a little bit more into that before I decide on that part. But yeah, that's just going to happen. So I have to wait a week for the, um, the insulation, the radiant barrier to get in. And so I'm not in a rush to buy the vinyl flooring yet, but I do get paid next week. And so I'll wait till the uh, insulation gets here and then I will, look at this cat. Um, I'll go ahead and buy the vinyl flooring after that, which I'll be on break at that point. So I can go ahead and just get it done like within a day or two and be finished with that. And then I can go ahead and start uh, building stuff in here, putting stuff in, but I have cabinets already. So just building around that building the bed I'm trying to figure out the layout I've sketched a few layouts you know one with the bed all the way across the back and one with the bed down the side and trying to figure out what's best for me um, still kind of undecided but as far as my cabinets and stuff and kind of what I want I think the bed will be going down the side which side is the question so but I'll figure that out when I get to that point but anyway right now ripping this carpet out that's what's going on I want to show you this um, that I got the seat bases out. I know I kind of cut that last video short. Here's one of the nuts. I know it's getting darker here, so I don't know if you can see it too well, but you can see that the bolt is still in there, and that's one of the ones that I broke off. Broke two of those off. And uh, the difficult part of pulling the carpet out today is that I didn't have time to get the seat belts out. So those bolts are still in the floor, so I have to cut around those and attempt to get those out tomorrow as well. All right, let me cut the light off for you so you can see in here but yeah so I still have from the bed that was in the back I have the bolts that are in the floor on both sides for that and also the seat belts the seat belts on this side and that side over there as well so those are gonna be in the way but like I said I'll cut around them and then when I get to uh, get the time to pull out the bolts then I'll go ahead and do those again probably won't do those until next week sometime 
probably the end of next week around the time that I'm going to get my radiant barrier in. And then I'll just go ahead and do those, lay the radiant barrier down after I clean the floor and then we're going to be in business. Floor, once the floor gets in, I feel like it's kind of just a forward move. I mean, this is forward move. It's just a little bit slower because you got to wait on things to come in. The bolts are holding me up, you know, just because I have to go over to my mechanic's house, my other mechanic's house, and use his tools, his uh, breaker bar and everything like that to get those bolts out and also have someone else there to help me to do that. So things that I can do on my own, it's easier because I can go my own time and I know when I have time I don't have to wait on somebody or anything like that. Which is not difficult to find somebody, it's just, you know, it's easier when I want to just go out the house every once in a while and work on it. Um, I can do it by myself other than having to wait for the weekend or something to have somebody else to help me out. But I'm thankful for those that I do have to help me out, so it's all good. But, you know, once these bolts are out, I think everything else I should be able to do for the most part by myself. Um, you know, there will be some other ones that I will have to hold up on, but it's all good. Still moving. Progress is progress, no matter how slow, right? Here's my knife again. I talked about this in my other video if you watched it. This thing is nice. I love it. But, uh, oh yeah, I got these seat belts back here too on the wheel well on both sides. And I also have that. I don't know if that's the like AC heater thing or what that is. I'm not exactly sure because the environmental air system is over there. Not sure what that all does, but I'm guessing it helps circulate the air in my little vacuum, but I don't use that. So yeah, that's what's going on. Let me get started on this carpet. So yeah, hope y'all are having a good day. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. out here in the van it's a bit hot so that shows me already I'm gonna have to get one of those fantastic fans you know I know they're a bit expensive so it probably won't happen for a while probably not till the spring or something but definitely gonna happen uh, got all the carpet I'm gonna get out today yeah I might try and take the crowbar and pull off the siding part the running part of it at the bottom of the carpet on it but you know this plywood's not gonna be able to be used it's all good this is another thing I'm a little worried about. I'll have to look under there and see if it screws into something down below, if it's just the bar for the seat belts. And that might be another thing I'll have to take out too while I'm getting the seat belts and all out. Because it's pretty, you know, it's about an inch. And I know my plywood isn't that thick, but I don't know if with insulation and plywood would it cover that up. But yeah, this is what it's looking like in here. If my uncle gets home before I leave, and we can get the drill. I might take that TV out and this plywood, but if not, this is all I'm doing today. I accomplished what I wanted to do was to get the carpet out. I'm going to try and get that foam stuff out too. But if not, I'll just wait on that too until I get all these bolts out next week. So I'll just be driving around like this for a week. <laughs> not the best look I want to go for, but it's all good. It's part of the process which I think that's very important to record the process, not just the end result, because the process is what matters. It's what counts, you know? The end result, you know, we can always show a beginning and an end, but the middle is what we have to get through and help each other through, and if we don't show that, then nobody's really learning anything. So what's the point? And like I said, this most important thing, the journey, it's not the destination, it's the journey. If we got on the road, it would be about the journey, not where I'm actually going, necessarily. I'm sure that would be cool and all, but the journey is the adventure part of it. It's the lessons that you learn, the experience, the memories, everything you've taken in. So again, it's a beautiful day. I'm soaking it up. 
I think I'm gonna go get me some wings today and <laughs> treat myself. Actually had a really good week, very productive, which I'll talk about in my 60 day uh, weekly follow up for this week. But yeah, all right, I'll see y'all soon.